Riderless Horse going up now as well from here for checks. A length and a half away behind them. Next of all on the inside, Ms. Vasari Diamba. Servicemen's around those. Followed further back, plays with fire, ruling Dame, then Fast Flicker and Civvy Street. And so as they head by the 650 on the full, now gets the company of the Riderless Horse is going to take it on, firing it up at little length and a half though on the full. Cruise to victory second, Fashion Stakes down on the rails third. Followed deeper out here for checks and service man back behind the Miss Vasari. In the middle is D Amber. Ruling Dame further back. Plays with five back near the inside with a wall of horses in front of it. Then Civvy Street at the 200 though. Cruise to victory's gone to the lead here for checks in pursuit. Down the outside running on as well is D Amber. It's still Cruise to victory. D Amber though gobbling it up. Down the outside plays with five getting up when it's all over. D Amber wins it. D Amber won from plays with fire who got into some real traffic issues is in the straight close up behind those over near the inside fashion stakes cruise to victory they photoed third from here for check service man ruling dame in behind the next mr masari on the full cop the pressure of the riderless horse followed further back behind them to fast flicker and civvy street is near enough towards the tail end of the field as nobel knight continues on riderless leaving Luke Campbell back there in the starting gates. Hold tickets. 100 to 1 chance. Nobel Knight. We wait for the placings, but number six, the Amber. Jason Whiting wins again. Plays with fire on the outside. Second after getting strung up behind them. Cruise to victory will be third. At the moment, the placings. Six, nine, and eight, and the time is one eleven zero four. De Amber making it win three from seven. So consistent. Able to get off the back of here for checks plays with fire was actually right behind De Amber before eventually getting around the back of it. Just couldn't build that momentum to pick her up. And uh, fourth goes the way of number 12, Fashion Stakes. So the interim placing, 6, 9, 8, 12. 6, 9, 8, 12, three quarters of a length and a short head, the official margins after the running of the fourth on the card. The Ambers by Ver Degree out of Miss Tahitian and is trained by Steph Bakranich for Livio and Renato Divertini and ridden by Jason Whiting. Plays with fire. Second again from as many runs back. The playing God Mayor out of Azita, Rob Gilberti, Willie Pike. And third home, eight crews to victory. Is by Lucky Street from Strike for Victory. Holly Watson, the rider for Louise Newman. 34 6 6. The final 600 metres. It's 6 9 8 12. And from the stewards, righto then. So Nobel Knight has been declared a definite runner, having reared at the start. Thanks indeed, Harold Taylor from the stewards room informing us that Nobel Knight has been declared a definite runner. Rearing as the start was affected and dislodging Luke Campbell. And they have got hold of Nobel Knight being brought back now to the yard by the two clerks of the course. Race five, the happy 90th birthday lawn award handicap. You watch the race from the best seat in the house this afternoon. A field of 10 as Lockie Taylor joins us from down in the yard. And you'd like to have a, a stable full of mares like her. She does not know how to run a bad race. No, she certainly doesn't, Darren. I'm joined by winning trainer Steph Bakranich now. Steph, we spoke after her last win here at Ascot and there was a slight temptation to tip her out to the paddock. But when mares are in form, they're just willing to run through brick walls for you. And it's exactly what she did today. Yeah, she pulled up so well after her last run that I didn't see any reason to put her out and she's run a super race again today. This was obviously the second heat of what culminates towards a $100,000 final in around a month's time over 1,400 metres. Do you just keep her ticking over until then? Yes, I, I don't think we would start her again until um, the final now because she should get a spot in it now. She's a fairly versatile mare. Last start we saw her a little bit handy to the speed. Today a pair further back, but it always looked like she was travelling well throughout. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got a great turn of foot, and I think when Jason asks her to go, she tries and goes. You'll saddle up playing Marika in the Lucky Grey Stakes. What do you make of her chances coming out of the Northern Cup? 
Uh, I well, was a little bit disappointed with a run in Northern, but um, she runs well here and she's in good order, so I hope she can find some form today. Congratulations here. Thank you. There's Steph Bakranich after the win of D'Amber, just going from strength to strength. Absolutely flying for Steph Bakranich and Jason Whiting, who is now catching up with Scotty Embry. He certainly is, and this mare's doing a wonderful job at the moment, Fishy. We talk about Westby Platinum grades, and they're probably horses that are never going to reach great heights, with all due respect to them, but you'd love to have a lot of mares like her that just try and just run consistently good races. Yeah, that's right. She has, hasn't set a foot wrong this prep. Um, probably the only one sort of uh, slightly disappointed, not that was overly disappointed, was, that, you know, she was probably a little bit flat that day, but... Since um, Steph's been spaced her runs and keeping her fresh, she's, she's flying. Well, the programming works out perfectly because the final of this race is in about a month's time, 1,400 metres, tick, tick for her, really. That's right. Yeah, Steph was always sort of like wanted to go this way and um, had the, the um, next heat up her sleeve if needed to, but I'd say that a qualifier, so she'll probably, um, probably go in fresh and she'll like that. And uh, $100,000 is not a bad race to be in, is probably one of the horses to beat. Yeah, for sure. You know, she's, she's going super and just keeps... Um, improving each run so yeah looking forward to it what about reaction later on in the day he's got a bad gait he's obviously up in grey but he's a horse that as a nine-year-old he's almost in career best no nah, so, you know credit to summer she's actually got this horse going really really well you know as you say he's a nine-year-old but you know he, he, he doesn't feel like one at the moment running terrific races as you said he's up, up a bit in class but you know he's one he flies the machines he puts himself there and you never know he might run a cheeky race congratulations fishy well done thanks scotty Sorry. Jason Whiting combining with Steph Bakranich and D'Amber to take out race number four here at Ascot.